Hey guys, before I get into all this real quick, I want to do like a like a first time reaction to this apology video. Um, just a little update on the last video I uploaded. So we're gonna watch her uh, quote unquote apology video, and then I'll I'll go over it through my own perspective and whatnot. So let's just watch this real quick, and then I'll get into like the the gameplay speaking part that I always do in my videos. In today's video, I want to address something that happened to me this morning. I um I woke up this morning and I got a knock from my roommate, Dante, telling me that I was banned on Twitch. I was very confused. I really didn't understand what happened. I mean, I just woke up and to be honest, I thought he was like pranking me for a second and looked at my phone. So just uh, I am going to add commentary, but just real quick, just like she's surprised, but I feel like she wasn't. She kind of knew what the situation was, but I'll I'll just. Let her talk about it real quick. I got banned on Twitch for 14 days. And here's the reason. I got banned for sharing personal information about somebody. So I kept getting it. Okay. She says 14 days, but realistically, she only got like a five hour slap on the wrist. I talked about this in my last video. I don't know if she talks about it in this one, but she literally got banned for 14 days, but then they took it off like five hours later. Unless, unless the information I got was wrong, that's literally what happened. That's all I'm saying. I made a mistake and I do apologize to Twitch and I appreciate them for unbanning me, by the way. Thank you very much. And I want to continue this and I know when continuing this, I'm going to continue getting more hate. So I need to learn how to deal with this and, and I'm going to. All right. So what you guys just watched was a half ass commentary of Nadia's new video about the whole situation of like the doxing and it is kind of an apology video even though it's just the title was like why I got banned there is still like an apology that kind of happens at the end so I will call it an apology video just for the sake of it um so pretty much she in in this little video she made it was a two minute video of her just saying why she got banned and her like saying oh you know it was a moment of weakness and you know i shouldn't have done this and i just now i can learn from my mistakes i just i'm really trying to you know feel convinced but i'm just i'm not i'm not convinced at all i think she's just saying what she wants us to hear you know now i'm not here to hold a bias upon nadia you know she did what she had to do to to get all this fame and you know and it did come with hate and i won't lie it does suck that's kind of the reality you have to deal with when you are a any sort of you're famous in any sort of way whether it's big on like social media platforms if you're an actor if you're if you're some sort of you know anything really it all comes with hate no matter no matter what you do you could be the nicest person in the world and still get hate it doesn't matter i mean mr beast I mean, this dude literally donates to charity all the time, helps his subscribers and does so much for his community and the people around him. And yet he still gets hate. But I mean, that's that's just that's the 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 negative perk of, you know, being big. So so she made a point that, you know, all she did was say his first and last name. But I mean, a first and last name could still be pretty you know detrimental to someone even if they are hating and they did it multiple times i mean how was one person hating on you more than once worse than like hundreds of people hating on you at once you know it's like it's pretty much the same you know you just see one person's comment probably less often than what or however what, what am i huh Huh? Anyway, to, you get my point. Like, how is that worse than multiple people doing it at the same time? You know, that just, it doesn't make sense. Now, I am glad she didn't leak an address. That would have definitely done worse. But still, leaking a first and last name, I mean, you never know, man. Like, people, if, if they're hardcore fans enough, they will find that person if it means crossing borders sometimes now i don't know if there's any diehard fans for nadia like that but if there are they will probably go to certain lengths to find someone by that first and last name and there are billions of people in the world which means there are billions of opportunities for people to have this exact same name 
but that won't make people stop if they have to if they have to they will confront these people because they're diehard fans that's that's just the reality of social media and these keyboard warriors man that's that's what they're known for she did say she got banned for 14 days but she did kind of clarify that she did get unbanned not too long after pretty much and that kind of goes back to what i said in uh in my last video where it's, i feel like twitch is just favorite favoriting you know her side because well it's a her it's not a he it'd be very different if the roles were switched i mean th that's just the reality you know uh so and i'm pretty sure doxing is against their tos it is against their terms of service so for them to like go back on something that breaks their terms of service it's just it's so annoying and they th this isn't their first time i mean there's been full-on porn on their site and they only give people like a one week two week ban and then they just call it a fucking day like and once again you know it's probably a gender thing so yeah i mean that's that's really all to talk about i mean this this video she made it is what it is i wouldn't say it's the worst video she never it's not like an apology video but it's also not not an apology video she apologizes to Twitch. She doesn't even like apologize to the hater, which makes sense. You know, they're hating, they're being a dick. And I'm not saying like, I'm not saying apologize to the hater themselves, but apologize for maybe being a little more immature, I guess. Although she kind of did that, but she didn't, you know, I just, I feel like she was saying what she need to say to get people to understand her mistake, you know, and maybe forgive her for it. And I feel like that that's how it will always be with these apology videos. So, yeah, that's really all to talk about today. Um, I'll see you guys later.